What's cooking, Juventus fans? Welcome back to your old lady's favorite YouTube channel. Juventus bring home a 1-0 victory over Sporting. And one of the things that the fallout we had from that match is that Juventus may potentially be losing their head goalkeeper. What is the status of Wojciech Chesney? Do we have any positive news to give you with that? As well as what's going on as they move forward into the city uh, and look back at the formation that we have upcoming for Sunday. Stick with us. We'll fill you in. <laughs> Ciao ragazzi, welcome back to the Bianca Dairy Zone. My name is Justin Sofer and today it is Friday, April 14th, 2023. Of course, I got your latest rundown of all things you've been as all the news you care about each and every single day. Before we do anything though, do me a solid favor, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon to stay notified for all of our latest videos. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and throw this out there one more time just so you guys can know and see if you could go ahead and hit this link over here. Uh, there'll be a link that'll pop up right over here uh, by this icon as well as in the description down below uh, leading you toward the other YouTube channel that I am personally starting called the Now We Can Talk Like Men podcast. A lot of fr uh, fun that I'll be having with my, some of my close local friends. Uh, you guys can get into the community that we have there. But most importantly, we'll be doing a giveaway on the channel. Uh, 500 subscribers. Once we hit that number, those first 500 subscribers will be entered in to win a jersey of their choosing. Obviously, if you're coming from this channel, you're probably going to want a Juventus jersey. Uh, but as well, we also have some local sports, Louisville, Kentucky, um, maybe some pro teams, whatever it is. You get to pick what jersey you want. You let us know, but make sure you hit that subscribe button and go and hit that link right now. And we'd appreciate that. We appreciate your support. Now, let's continue on with the news that we have for today. Okay, following the match against uh, against Sporting Juventus, we had some worrisome signs with our goalkeeper, Wojciech Chesney, but he had some comments to make following the match that was. He said that a bit of anxiety, but we did the checks and everything is fine. I was struggling to breathe, but now I am much better. About Mattia, I congratulated him. A golden boy who never complains. We have a good group with Carlo. It's a pity he didn't come in too. I am very happy for Mattia. That's what we need. We need a little Pensolio out there. That's exactly what you needed yesterday was Pensolio time. But he continues on. And as he confirms there personally, we also have checks that were done today in Sky Sport. I reported that today Chesney underwent new checks after the illness he exhibited last night. And fortunately, everything checks out normal for him. So any kind of worries, any kind of fears you had about the status of Wojciech Chesney and his future with the club seems to be uh, unabated. You don't need to worry about that. For right now, Wojciech Chesney should be good, and hopefully he can continue to um, to defend the goal, if you will, for Juventus for a good long while. All right, let's continue on, though, and talk about his counterpart, Mattia Penin, who came in and uh, and held down the fort while he was out. Uh, Penin said, you can see it on the pitch. What binds us goalkeepers is an incredible synergy. Even Pinso. <laughs> even Pinso. I love, I love that. Even Pinso. Even... Even that bum pins. I'm kidding. We love Pinsolio, but he's a mascot. That's what he is, right? Especially him. He helps to elevate the others. We are professionals. We joke, but we are the first to be serious. We turn the negative energy around. We showed we are a team of men. I will say one thing I do. I want to give my guy, Panin. I want to give him his props. I actually love um, his addition since he came back and rejoined the club. Obviously, he was showing some good things when he was out um, on loan previously, and I understand why he wanted to stay out on loan because he wanted to get his time, but he is getting his time, and he is get, he's beginning to shine for the old lady, and I love what he brings as a goalkeeper. I love the energy, and I just love the impactfulness he has had um, in his time with the club. So just want to give him a little shine. Another guy who should be getting his shine, obviously the goal scorer yesterday, is Gatti, Federico Gatti. He had some comments following the match, said emotions – I don't know how to explain in words. This goal goes out to my grandfather who passed away in December and to my girlfriend. <laughs> as professionally as I want to say this, as professionally as I want to say this, a beautiful, heart touching moment when he said, uh, my grandfather who passed away in December, beautiful. The addition of his girlfriend at the end, I don't, I don't know the specifics if, you know, she may be a very important role of him, you know, playing at the club, being built up. Maybe she did a lot to sacrifice to get him where he is today. Maybe that's the situation. I just found it a little bit humorous. It's probably inappropriate on my part, but I had to throw that in. That's who I am. He goes on to continue and says, a small step. It was very hard. They have strong individual players. Everything is still open. It will be very difficult next week. Obviously, knowing the uh, the, the treacherous path, they continue to go on uh, to try to win and pursue um, 
City on top four, whatever it is, given the situation that we continue to drag on. That's not even uh, regarding anything that's on the pitch. Goes on to say that today, Panin saved us at the last second. We risked a lot, even against Inter, we drew in the last minutes. We cannot risk so much. Obviously, yeah, we had flashbacks of the Inter matches just recently, and now we are worried about that. But again, in the Europa League, which I did say that I don't really care as much about, but hey, you're on a good path. You're on a good track. Try to win this thing. Might as well bring a trophy if you can. We can put it in the back. In the very, very back where nobody can really see it. But let's put that trophy back there. Uh, he goes on to say that from City B to this takes adaptation. Then the more I play, the more confidence I, more confident I become with everything. Physically, I'm also better. Then the credit goal go, also goes to my teammates and the coach. So obviously, um, that, to me, just the way that he said that, very, very, um, I, I guess the word I want to use is, I mean, I want to say astute, but I was going to say what I really want to say is just uh, very clear and very thoughtful in his approach and his comments after the match. Uh, not gl- not gloating too much, but at the same time, giving he's a good team, good team guy, a good maybe a potentially two- team leader down the uh, down the road. We'll see how that develops. But Octopalo gives their shine on the overall defense and the goalkeeper saying, Juventus now have won four consecutive games without conceding a goal in the European competition for the first time since the 2016-2017 Champions League when they reached the final. Obviously, obviously this ain't it. This ain't the same. You know, let's not apples. These are not apples to oranges. UCL competition, Europa League competition ain't the same. So I don't want to give it the same credit. But at the same time, that is a very, very good, uh, good stretch that they're on. And hopefully they can continue and keep this thing up and maybe go ahead and bring that trophy. Like I said, OK, let's continue on and let's see what Max Allegri had to say. Comments following the match. He went out to say that merit to the boys and all those who work at the Cotinasa. There is a group beyond the players. They are all available and they put us in conditions to do well. We are growing. We have to improve. There are moments when we have to understand better the danger, like at the end, where Pretty made two important saves. Continues on to say, in the second half, we did better with the three midfielders who gave more width. In the first, we played a lot of mistakes and they pressed. Getting back to the winning ways and not conceding goals was important. Manetti coming in, and then Locatelli asked me to sub him off. Panetti's, though, he wasn't coming in anymore and didn't have his shirt on. Whew, 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 you feel the tension? You feel that in the air? You feel it? You feel it in your plums? That's what I feel. I feel a little bit of tension between guy, my guy Max Allegri and Leandro Paredes, especially given all the latest reports, the comments back and forth. Oh, I liked it. Did you really like it? Did you like it, Max Allegri? I don't believe that you did like it. I don't think you like um, the you know the consternation in the room, if you will. He goes on to say, though, that football is not a mathematical equation. Tonight, I decided to put the three up front, and with a team like Sporting, they can put us in trouble. With Lazio, with the three forwards we had done very well maybe on sunday i'll repropose them maybe taking off a defender so talk talking about how he may switch things up i may try to get some guys uh you know rested uh and maybe just better suited positions for them moving forward let's continue on where he goes on to say that Gatti, after a difficult moment, has so much energy and desire. Then he is like a sponge. He learns a lot, takes it all in, and still has room for improvement. Obviously, giving Gatti his flowers, he deserved it. Uh, goes on to say, though that, though, that Atalanta is four points away. That's our next goal. Close the gap with Atalanta, beat Atalanta, and move forward. Goes on. I asked players to give us satisfaction, and they are doing it in the best way. In the football, the most important thing is the moral value that every team must have. Without that, without passion and heart, you go nowhere. So that's I kind of like that at least a little bit. It's him saying, "Where while it makes me feel like I'm lowering the bar a little bit, I at least him saying, you guys got to give us some positivity. You got to give us something to cheer for. You got to give the fans, you got to give the Beyond Canary Zone, who is known as the negativity zone, something to be positive about to get that energy back up and get it back going. Right now, it's been a, it's been a slog. It's been a slog uh, to try to go through and do the Juventus fan thing right now when there's been so much negativity in the air, either be it from all the the legal aspects, the FIGC and all their BS, or if you just want to go to the actual performances on the pitch by the players for the club, it's been difficult. It's been really hard. It's been, we've been eating our vegetables for a long time. We've been having our broccoli. We've been doing our, you know, whatever else you don't like cauliflower. You want to use cauliflower? Is that an option? We've been eating our broccoli and our cauliflower. Give us a little sweetness. Give us a little less sugar, baby. All right, let's continue on. Um, news from Nico Skidda. 
Done deal. Houtson, I, I don't know if I pronounce the name wrong, but Dean is a Houtson, Houtson, whatever. Born in 2005, has extended his contract with Juventus for four contra- uh, four years contract. So good news there. Hopefully the youth player continues to develop. And like I said, it looks like uh, following this that he will get a chance and get a, an option uh, to try to play with the, the first team next season. Correa del Sport also is reporting, though, that the plea deal remains a concrete option for Juventus, especially if the old lady is given a win by the sport guarantee board of Coney on the minus 15 that was imposed in January. The club could aim at closing the season, a matter that could extend to the next one. So if they're able to come around, we'll see what the, what the end all be all punishment ends up being after that. But if you're if there, if they say, here's your 15 points back, you're back in second place, you're back in the running, you're back in Europe. I, I take it. But what? But what's the fallout? What's the other option? What's the what's the um, reserve punishment then that Juventus are going to get? How, if, especially if they take a plea deal? I need to know what that is. I need to know exactly what we're getting into. And then finally, the squad formation for next uh, for the next Sunday. And Sky Sports reported that on Sunday, Max Allegri is set to rotate the squad in defense. There will be no Alexandro. <laughs> Who's disqualified? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <sighs> Meanwhile, Manuel Lucatelli could be given a rest for Padetes or Badenchea. Uh, Vlaovic should return in the attack. So hopefully some good movement for the club. Hopefully we'll see them get back on the right foot and continue a winning streak. All right. Uh, that's it. That's all the news I have for you today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you haven't already, I'm sure a lot of you are already correcting me on saying house and Hoisin, whatever the hell his name is. <laughs> Let me know that on the comment section down below. If you haven't already, do me a solid favor. Smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. Stay notified for all of our latest videos. And once again, reminder, go down in the link in the description below. Just go over there. It's a quick little free. It's a free little thing. Hit that subscribe for me. I'd appreciate it. Appreciate the support. Appreciate you guys as always. And I'll continue to make content on here and over there and just doing and having a lot of fun but most importantly i'm excited to do the giveaway once we get to 500 subscribers we got a ways to go but once we get to 500 subscribers all of you will be entered in and we'll be giving away a juventus jersey or whatever it is that you desire jersey wise louisville kentucky whatever so all you have to do go down hit the subscribe button and let's get rolling baby all right if you want, you can follow me at Justin Sofer on Twitter and you can follow Bianca Neri's on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. I will see you guys next time. Forza Juve, Forza Bianconeri, say hello to the old lady for me.